Hello everybody, this is Name Acid. Welcome to this new series, if you want to call it like that. Uh, this is basically going to be uh, something new for the channel. Um, it's going to be something that most of you guys haven't seen. Uh, because what we do is basically uh, upload commentaries, the Hassle Show, and a lot of other things that we do. But this time, we what we're doing is basically giving you a little bit of advice and some tricks for uh, how to use and produce uh, on Sony Vegas. Um, the version that I'm using is uh, the HD Platinum 11, and uh, we're gonna jump right into it so we don't lose any time. We're trying to uh, do the videos much as we can, cover them as much as we have to, but um, don't take that much of time. So you guys don't get bored of anything okay so um, going directly to what we're gonna be doing today uh, it's basically this is Sony Vega this is the software up in it and um, I already have a project that have been working on it uh, um, there's a video that uh, uh, I was doing the other day and this is a like um by the way it's live commentary one of my friends was asking me how do you know how do you put the video and your voice on a video and then produce it, you know, and upload it to YouTube. So today, that's what I'm gonna be showing you. Um, first of all, we're gonna uh, go into my PVR HD PVR. This is the software that I use to record. Uh, really quick, I record an MP4 because it makes the videos, uh, the size of the videos, is smaller. It's uh, really easy to record on with those um, settings that I have 720 and uh, 480 uh, the format settings if you want you can basically pause the video and copy it if you want I didn't do uh, too many changes to it so it's just basically what it comes to the with the PVR if you wanna uh, change some other settings and, and it works for you well that will be a good option remember always to, to um, try your own settings experiment and see if that works for you well that will be the best option what I'm actually doing right now is showing showing you what I do how I do it and that might help you you know to get your videos in a better quality and in a faster uh, way render okay so going back to Sony Vegas uh, like I said this is the, uh, the project this is the video that I recorded I record the video first I play you know with the PBR and then after that I bring it to Sony Vegas one that is completely um, recorded Add the um, the the commentary or in this case I'm doing live com. I was playing and I was I was basic I was playing and I was recording at the same time the video. But in, it, it can be either way. You know, you just have to bring that audio to the software to the timeline so you can actually work on it. Now, uh, how do you record your voice? What I do is that I use uh, Virtual DJ. I've been using this software for years and uh, if you go into the configuration if you go into record right here in this tab and go to audio uh, record audio go into the configurations and you select the microphone that you're gonna be using and it's up to you uh, then you change the uh, the name of the file over here you can click over here to see where you're gonna you're gonna be saving it uh, and that's up to you um, the size of the bit rate of the audio and then click OK and when you're ready to record just start recording what I do is that I go to the video that I'm gonna be working on it the video that I'm gonna be doing the commentary about it uh, I open it right and then I lower down the value completely I watch the video basically and uh, while I'm watching the video I'm recording the, the audio right so that give me the chance to record uh, the voice over that audio that, that I want to get you know <clears throat> and then after that I have the audio ready uh, I have a folder specifically for audio and I have a folder specifically for the videos that I'm I gotta be working on it uh, audio you know the final produ uh, productions and um, the, uh, the videos that I record Right, so once you have that audio and you have that video recorded, you bring it to Sony Vegas, and you want to make you know your video tracks over here. Uh, you want to put them um, 
like the, the, the lowest amount of video tracks, tracks that you have is the best and then the video quality in here and the preview you can select it and change it over here <coughs> excuse me and then you can select it so you will see how the video is gonna look and how it's gonna sound with the uh, the commentary as example just let's just see this we're gonna put it from here from the beginning hello everybody this is Simon Acid welcome back to the Doom series and this time it's gonna be a little choppy because um, the computer is working with uh, another couple of uh, software right now so uh, that's basically uh, how I do it in here right so now something really really important when you're working on the project is you want to check those settings the project settings always once you have the settings um, selected on the in the right way click this start all new projects with these settings um, and here go here and then let me show you go here select and then scroll down to HD uh, 720 6 60p oh selected the wrong one hold on um, the one I have been using is this one all right so that's what I use uh, it's 29 frames per second and the quality full resolution rendering quality best um, and this one I keep it one uh, square <coughs> excuse me and then the audios this you can pause the video and then copy the rendering settings if you want it's up to you okay and then just press apply okay press ok and then you have the rendering settings apply now you right click on here and then go to properties and click disable resample that's gonna make the quality of the video way better if you would take the resample and put it back on watch the quality of the video over here it's gonna drop it's gonna be like a little fussy uh, so once you take the um, the resample it's gonna be more defined and if you wanna add like a filter on the video effects scroll, scroll over here to brightness and contrast and add a little bit just reset to known you drag this to here and then just add I, what I do is I take a little bit of brightness depending on the video right or you can just add a little bit of contrast so as you can see it's gonna give a little bit more defined uh, colors and everything so you close that and uh, if you're gonna add an intro or anything else do it over here you know uh, can move this um, hold on. You can move this to the beginning and then whatever you're using in this case I'm using the, the, the machinima uh, intro and um, our intro that I made on, on on cinema 4d and then after that you put the videos maybe this might not be how you know professional do it this is the way I do it you know and at the end you know just remember to add a little bit of uh, transition so I'm gonna show you over here I'm gonna like expand it so you can see how it drops and the end the audio and the transition so when you finish the video it's basically gonna go like this it's gonna go from that color and it's gonna drop to dark or you can add whatever you want it's up to you okay so once you're done uh, you go to project and then you go to render as you put the name on it and the rendering settings that I'm using in this case is mp4 as the ones that I use on the on the PVR because it just make your video size really really low so let me scroll down so you can see those settings uh, you click over here and you can copy all this if you want uh, it's basically the same settings that I'm using for uh, for the project but just in case there is something is missing just copy it and that's how it's gonna work alright so click OK click render and then after that Sony Vegas is gonna do the work all you have to do is just wait for the video to be rendered and uh, I hope this helped you guys in some way if you have any questions anything you wanna know leave it on the comment box and or send me a message uh, to the channel or you can visit uh, our Facebook page and uh, let me know and I will help you guys you know to start with 
uh, Sony Vegas or whatever questions you have and we'll be happy you know to help you guys with this uh, remember leave it a comment and uh, subscribe we will see you guys very soon Nightmare Acid out